Outside on the hills, the sheep were safe, safe in their pen. A strong stone wall with prickly thorns on top kept the fierce wild animals out. And all night long, the shepherds watched out for danger. All was dark, all was quiet. Then suddenly, the sky blazed with light, too bright to look at. An angel was standing there. He spoke to the shepherds in a loud, clear voice. Good news, the best news ever, for you and the whole world. Today, in Bethlehem, your king is born, God's promised king. Go and see for yourselves, you will find him lying in a manger. At once the sky was full of angel voices. Glory to God in heaven and peace on earth. Then once again all was dark, all was quiet. The shepherds took a deep breath. We must do as the angel said. The sheep will be safe enough and they hurried off to Bethlehem. There they found the newborn king, just as the angel had told them. Not in a palace, not in the house, not even in an inn. They found him lying in a manger in the place where the animals slept. It was just an ordinary day. That's what I can't get over. Nothing special about it. Nothing different. Just another ordinary day. And we were all just ordinary people. That's what made it even more puzzling. Not important, not influential. Just plain ordinary shepherds out working in the fields. Yet we apparently were the first singled out for the splendid favour. The first to know the first to, to see, the first to celebrate, the first to tell. I'm still not, still not sure what happened. One moment night drawing in, and the next bright as day. One moment laughing and joking together, and the next rooted to the spot in amazement. One moment looking forward to getting home, and the next hurrying down to Bethlehem. There just aren't words to express what we felt, but we knew we had to respond, had to go and see for ourselves. Not that we expected to find anything, mind you. Not if we're honest. Well, you don't, do you? I mean, it's not every day the Messiah arrives, is it? And we all always imagined when we, he finally did, it would be in a blaze of glory to a fanfare of trumpets with a maximum of publicity. Yet do you know what? When we got there, it was to find everything just as we've been told. Wonderfully special, yet surprisingly ordinary. Not Jerusalem, but Bethlehem. Not a palace, but a stable. 
not a prince enthroned in splendour, but a baby lying in a manger. We still find it hard to believe even now to think God chose to come through that tiny vulnerable child. But as the years have passed, and we've just not just seen his birth, but his life, and not just his life, but his death, and not just his death, but his empty tomb, his grave clothes, his joyful followers, we came slowly came to realise it was really was true. God had chosen to come to us, and more than that, to you, to ordinary everyday people, in the most ordinary of everyday ways. How extraordinary. Lord Jesus Christ, it wasn't those important in the eyes of the world who first heard the good news. It wasn't the religious elite or those especially gifted. It was shepherds, ordinary everyday people like each of us. Teach us through their story that whoever we are, however insignificant we may feel, you value each one of us and you want us to know you for ourselves. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 